All right, so here's a story you guys are going to love. So a school in Ohio suspended two football players from playing football uh, indefinitely um, because they ran out onto the field with a thin blue line and a thin red line flag on 9-11. The day that firefighters and police officers lost their lives running into buildings that are collapsing to save the lives of others. That's disrespectful. So it, it looks like um, these two football players were reinstated, um, but they were suspended, and that's that's the problem. I mean, there's something wrong if you're suspending kids from playing sports because they run out with a flag supporting our officers and firefighters. Um, so this school was called Little Miami High School. Um, so they ran onto the field carrying the thin blue line flag and the thin red line flag, um, supporting the firefighters and officers that lost their lives uh, on 9-11 and uh, su supporting them and you know paying their respects. Um, so they ran onto the field with these flags, you know, um, and because the flags have been associated with the Blue Lives Matter movement, a pro-police group. They were suspended. Now, here, here's like a, one of the, like a major issue with this. If that was a Black Lives Matter flag, they would be praised. But since it was a thin blue line supporting officers, they get suspended because it's, uh, you know, controversial. Um... So, um, the players were suspended from the team, um, but, I mean, even this, uh, who is this that said this, um, I believe it was a member of the school board says, the results show that there was no political motivation behind the display of support for the first responders on 9-11. Um, I'm just gonna end it right there, um, but, uh, I mean, if there's no political motivation behind it, then why did you suspend them? Um, so it was this flag and then red for the firefighters. Um, but here's, here's something that's kind of weird. Um, or I thought it was weird. Um, so, um, this lady, um, uh, Megan Atkins, her black son is a third grader who looks up to the football players. And apparently, um... If they're running out with red, uh, thin red fl li line flags and thin blue line flags, um, her son can't feel safe in the little Miami schools um, because the flag represents a rebuttal of the Black Lives Matter movement. No, it doesn't. So are, are you saying that the Black Lives Matter movement is anti-police? The Black Lives Matter movement should be pro-police to help end black on black crime and black on white crime and white on black crime i mean i don't know if these these people don't seem to realize that they lose more african americans to planned parenthood than they do to even black on black crime planned parenthood was created by democrats to weed out african americans It's funded by our Democrats as well. And the majority of the babies are black babies. They get aborted. It's disgusting. Uh, and I, it's disgusting that people think this way as well. That someone supporting our officers and firefighters is doing it in spite of Black Lives Matter. That's disgusting. It's disgusting. Um, well... I'm glad that these kids uh, were able to get reinstated and they're able to play football for their high school. Um, I'm glad that they're able to play a high school football this year at all. Um, I know in my state we can't. Um, but yeah, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. I just want to say, guys, there's a glitch on YouTube. Um, I was live streaming earlier today and I had um, more subs and then I refreshed it and I lost 20 subscribers and I lost a bunch of views for some reason. So if you guys 
would double check that you guys are subscribed, hit that like button, and turn on the post notifications if you want to know when I go live. Uh, that'd be awesome. Um, and until next time, guys, take care.